Good morning, race day. Check this out on eBay. I got this vintage Alfa Romeo track suit. You know, I know it's so silly, but I just like to have fun, right? I'm super pumped to have uh, my little outfit or whatever. Anyways, okay, so it's like, geez, 5.45, maybe 6 a.m. I've got to get everything we packed up yesterday, all the camera stuff, track stuff, helmet, my little track suit. I got to get this packed up in the Alpha, and then we got to get out of there because the track walk starts in just over an hour. Okay, I hope this fits. Perfect. Perfect. Helmet, torque wrench, air tire thing, sunscreen. Can I fit anything else in here? My little food bag. With my head. Yes, that's about it though. So the camera stuff and everything's gotta go in the passenger seat. You can see pretty much all filled with camera gear. Honestly, I'm a little bit stressed because today, not only am I racing, not only am I filming a YouTube video for you guys, but I'm also the official track photographer. So that means I don't have to stand a cone watch. However, I think I will be working every session I'm not driving as a photographer. So I gotta bring a different lens for that. And then like timing wise and stuff, I'm not sure how much time I'm gonna have with you guys, with them. I'm a little stressed, I'm doing a lot today. Three things, YouTube video, racing, the most important, and then also official track photographer. So I feel like the earlier I can get down there, the better situated I can be. You guys know what this is? Cold start Alfa Romeo 4C. There we go, there we go. Here we go, now we're on our dirt road. We made it. I will say so far, this day is not going as planned. I have forgotten so many things. I forgot chapstick, I forgot water, I forgot my track hat, which actually some of you guys might be happy about because I know a lot of people out there don't like my little track hat. I forgot my sunglasses. I forgot the lens adapter for my nice lens on this camera and I am supposed to shoot the I am the official photographer for this event and I forgot my lens adapter luckily I have a friend who's coming she shoots on Canon which I do and I think I'm gonna be able to use her camera because I can't shoot on this big wide angle thing it's it's not gonna look good at all so Anyways, that's unfortunate. And I forgot my track map. I'm glad I took the time to basically <laughs> print out that two page thing and resize it and cut them out and put them together and then, you know, scan them onto the same page. I took all that time and then I forgot it. Okay, so we're here. There is a ton of cars here. A lot of C8s, a lot of S2000s. I'm the only Alpha. Let's go, Team Alpha. All right, so fun fact, I have these things back here and uh, they definitely get warm. So, uh, I probably wouldn't uh, have anything perishable back there, not any ice cream or popsicles or anything because uh, they definitely are warm to the touch. All right, Super Street. Super Street, Super Street, Super Street, Super Street. Gloucester N, I like that car. Super Street, Super Street. We know him, he's fast. Super Street, Super Street. Pretty much everyone is on a pretty good tire in Super Street. I think you're allowed to run factory sizes, any tire you want up to a 200 tread wear. I'm on the factory uh, Pirelli's. I don't, I think they might be the original tire. Um, it's not, not looking too good. Super Street. 500. I like your car, man. I know you. It is kind of nice to build some uh, relationships. There's like four or five people here that I know. Uh, that actually makes it a little bit more fun. You know, I saw this guy at Daytona. I've known this guy, I don't know, two or three events we've been to. Right? Right. Um, the Veloster NDCT. What's up, man? Looks good. I love it. 
It's good to see you out here. Yeah. You're always here, man. Yeah, I'm always here. So did you sell your 350 or not? I sold it, yeah. So you got this one instead? I sold it, yeah. Pretty much everybody loves the Alpha here. There's been so many people that have came up and just been like, whoa, this is Alpha, it's so cool, they want to check it out, you know, ask for ride-alongs and stuff. Although there's a wait limit, so I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to handle that situation, you know, if we're going to go for it or not. But ah, anyways, okay, I think it's time to walk the course. And then I have to figure out as far as like the photography thing, is my friend here yet? Uh, figure all that stuff out. I'm super pumped. I think it's gonna be a good day. Hopefully, uh, hopefully everything goes good. It's fun to do the course walk. Uh, you know, I like some morning cardio, honestly. And then, you know, to like really try to internalize the line like as fast as possible. And that's why I had printed out the track map. Unfortunately, I didn't spend as much time as I wanted to, but I did look at it for, I don't know, five or ten minutes, so I'm not completely blind. I at least knew the direction we were driving, because we're driving on the, at the firm backwards, so I've never driven this direction before. Uh, I think it's going to be a ton of fun. I'm just going to try to pay attention on this walk and really uh, understand, you know, kind of the line, so I'm not just driving blind. You're the coolest one here, man. So the course starts out, you're in this little box here and opens up into a slalom, starting with a, a left. Right, left, right. Ideally, you probably stay wide. You make this left turn and the right turn. Now you're going up the hill. There's two gates up there, one on the right, one on the left. And then uh, we're closing out the shoebox with a right turn, stay wide. We got that left turn and we're back on the straight of the firm. Ideally, you stay wide. Another little slalom area. Got a pretty tight left-hander here. Again, the idea is probably to stay wide here. And then we are tracking left of this first slalom. Right, left, right, left. You can kind of stay inside. Let the car track out. We're to the right, back to the left, to the right. Back to the left, we're through a gate. Another slalom, this one's pretty tight. And now uh, we got a small right bend, an element that you can choose to go around, left or right. Uh, then our final turn into a little kind of slalomy checkpoint thing. And then we're across the finish line and hard on the brakes. We'll say, I think it's gonna be quite a bit easier not having to worry about shifting gears, you know, having the DCT. Obviously I need to pay attention to kind of what gear I'm in, cause I'll probably try and drive in manual mode, but I think it's gonna be a little bit easier, which might make it more fun as far as just like attacking the course and not having to worry so much about rev match down shifting and what gear and carry this speed, bounce off the rev, rev limiter, you know, things like that. So course looks pretty normal. Nothing looks crazy to me. Ladies and gentlemen, our hero for today. You don't know how much you saved the day today. You want to know something funny? Yeah. I am the track photographer. Okay. Officially. And I forgot my adapter for my real lens. So I'll have to shoot on your camera. <laughs> What if I, because I can't shoot on this 16 mil. <laughs> Hold on, Mary, I've lost control of the track here. Oh, no. Co-worker. Okay. Yeah, she's never been to an event like this. No, I thought you were leading me somewhere. Do you have any advice? Deserted. Advice? Yeah. Go the right way. I noticed you were walking backwards. <laughs> you know, I just thought it would be more efficient to find the man in red pants. It was, these are my Alfa Romeo pants. <laughs> I got the top, too. <laughs> I have the full, <laughs> the full suit. <laughs> so before it was my turn to drive, I had to go out on track and take photos of everyone else. I know how important this is because it is awesome getting good photos of your car on track. Now going into this, I knew it was going to be a lot of work but I didn't realize how much work it actually was. I took over 4,000 images that day, and then I had to get home and edit them all for everyone else. Now I am thankful for the opportunity to go out and shoot photos on track, and I actually learned quite a bit from this experience. However, I was not prepared for the amount of energy it took. I will say that out there shooting constantly is exhausting. It's definitely more work than it is just watching a cone. I'm probably not gonna do this again 
unless I'm getting paid for it. So I got the tire pressure dialed in. Basically, I'm starting at 28 in the rear and 26 in the front. We'll see how that goes. You know, it's been a while since I've driven a car with staggered tires on track. It looks like it's starting to rain, so who knows? These are the Pirelli P0s. 28, 26, we'll see how we do. All right, let's get suited up here. Let's get suited up. How ridiculous is this? It's about having fun though. It's really just about having fun. There we go. Alfa Romeo in the house. All right, so here we go. First lap, no launch control, full automatic mode. I remember it feeling really fast here, surprisingly. I hit this cone. Whoops. <laughs> That's so funny, like my first time out there I hit a cone I'm just taking things slow kind of figuring things out right we go up the hill I'm still building my confidence on how hard I can get into the brakes here first time on track first time pushing it cars rotating really good uh, coming up to the slalom, pretty much just able to maintain my speed. Feels really good, really balanced. Got to figure out that line. We got another slalom. And then coming up here, I'm supposed to slalom this, but I accidentally just stayed to the outside. So this lap, I got a did not finish. A little slalom and then we're across the line and hard on the brakes here. For a little perspective, the fastest cars out there today were running about 55 seconds and the slowest in the high 70s. I was pretty much sitting in the middle of the pack in the mid 60s. By the time I got to my fifth run, I decided it was time to try race mode with launch control using the paddle shifters. You can see that thing off the line just hooked up and went. You know, I'm carrying more speed already and uh, I'm really starting to get some confidence in the car here. We go up the hill, feeling pretty good, hard on the brakes. The car is turning great. You can see my hands like, even though the car doesn't have power steering, uh, it's still really easy to turn. It turns well, there's really good feedback in the car. Again, my line is a little all over the place here. Definitely not ideal, but carrying a lot more speed. Lost some time there. Hit this slalom correctly. Look at that car control, pretty decent. Yeah, across the line, really hard on the brakes. Really hard on the brakes. All right, final run, launch control race mode. Here we go. It just hooks up. Trying to stay wide. The DCT is feeling good. It's not really unsettling the car at all, upshifting or downshifting, which is awesome. A little bit smoother coming out of that turn. Not too smooth there, whoops. Could really tighten all that stuff up. Whoops, lost a lot of time there.
And still across the line at my fastest time of the day, I think that was a 64, which uh, put me in company with some pretty cool cars. So not the fastest time of the day, and no, we didn't break any records or win any trophies today, but pretty successful overall, right? The car felt really good. I was learning a lot about it and it is really fast. So you can see here just kind of a group of cars running similar times. Obviously driver has a lot to do with it, but we're in the mix. The Porsche 718, the GT4, the GT500, obviously the S2000 is on there. The Z06 is on there, right? This car is totally in the mix with the big boys. Wow, this Alpha, I'll tell you what, it is special. This car is is fast now I know I didn't like win my class or break any records or anything like that but that's all on me I mean this car is classed with the GT3s the GT4s the NSX's the Z06's for a reason this car is no joke and uh, I'm just really excited to continue you know basically learning this car getting some more confidence you know under heavy braking you know, really finding limits of turn in and things like that. I'm on stock alignment, some old tires. What do I expect, really? I was just happy that we went out there, we ran, we got faster each time, and uh, you know, nothing broke. I'm gonna, I'm sure I'm gonna be able to drive home fine. So many people were looking at the car, talking about the car. Ah, it was cool. Obviously, it was the only one there. Um, really pumped, really happy with the Alfa Romeo Four C. Like, very happy with it. It's, it's exhausting. Now, I'm going to tell you right now, I don't think I'm ever going to sign up to track, vlog, and be the official event photographer, you know, because I've still got, even though I shot all day pretty much, I've got now two or three hours of editing everyone's photos, and it's like, it's a lot of work for that, and I'm not, I'm not going to do it again. <sighs> Anyways, I'm super pumped. This car is great. This car is special. Uh, a lot of fun. I'm very happy, very happy with the car. Let me just say the support over the past couple videos with the Alfa Romeo 4C has been incredible. You guys are loving it. I'm loving it. I can't wait to bring you guys more content. There's one question I am getting asked a lot, and that is if the GT350R is a better track car than the Alfa Romeo 4C. And to be honest, I can't answer that yet. All right, I actually need to go to a normal track day because autocross, you're more or less attacking the course. You're driving the course. You're not really driving the car, if that makes any sense. So to be honest, I don't know. At the firm, I honestly have no idea if this thing is gonna be faster than the GT350R or not, but we're gonna find out soon. Jason Andrews, the All-American Driver. I will see you guys in the next episode.